Well, never a dull moment in the sake of ignorance. I probably picked the absolute worst place to launch. It's so shallow, almost lost my boots. I'm exhausted and I just really hit the water. <sighs> Take it easy. The rest of the time, I'm wet from my knees down. I'm not gonna stay out here too late, for sure. Yeah, this crap's hard sometimes. I mean, just the ignorance. That's why I really would like to do this with other people. Uh, so I can learn, watch them. I actually followed a guy. I was gonna hit the boat launch. And then I seen a guy in the mud launching and I was like, okay, well that must be the better option. So I'll follow him. But it turns out he's fairly new to the area. He had never launched there either. So uh, anyway, we both had a mess. So, all right. Here we go. So, I'm all paddled today. Decided not to bring the motor because I don't have my numbers on my kayak yet. I'm sure if the game warden saw me, they would have some questions. So I don't know what the wind's gonna be like. Hopefully, it's not too bad for the audio. I'm gonna try to go to this other side so I can put the anchor pole down. And the biggest fish award goes to. <laughs> That's hilarious. How in the world? That just wasn't his day. Fish on, finally. What it is. Uh oh. He just realized he was had. <laughs> Finally. Yes. Oh, flounder. Nice. Nice, nice. Deal, buddy I get you loose all right
need a longer paddle. I caught one flounder. Only bite I got really. I thought I felt something nibbling. Probably another flounder, but I couldn't get him to bite. Um, everybody here so far uses down south lures, chicken on a stick, chicken on a chain. I gotta go buy some. Uh, as soon as I get back to the uh, camper, I'm gonna run up to Academy and find me some. But all in all, it's a pretty cool spot. Um, it's right here where the area is where Highway 6 and Interstate 45 come together. Um, I don't even know what you call this place. I have no idea. But I'll definitely be back. This is a pretty cool spot. Uh, probably won't bring my motor. It is super shallow in some spaces. Um, I would probably not use it very much. I don't know. There is a channel. I could just stay in the channel when I was using the motor. Casting into the wind. I'm fixing to go back to the. So, when I was launching, I think I've already said this, but I was in some mud, went over my boot, my water boots, sucked my boot under, had to dig my boot out of the mud, went barefoot, shells everywhere, scared to death, cut my foot open. So, Keeping my feet dry did not happen on this trip. I think I need to buy some, some waist waders or some boots. It's a beautiful day out here, though. Alright guys, uh, at least I didn't get skunked. I did at least catch <laughs> the little micro fish and the flounder. Um, everybody that I've talked to you keeps telling me down south, um, soft plastic chicken on a stick, I think is what he said, and a chicken on a chain. I, uh, that chicken on a stick. I really thought that was chicken boy little but uh, he said down south. So I'm going to look into it. I'm going to go hit Academy uh, tonight. Uh, I'm going to call it a day today. Success. I caught a flounder. <laughs> I hooked, I think was a flounder, and he got off right before I got him to the boat where I could see him. Wasn't big, whatever it was. Uh, but I don't think it was a trout. I don't think it was a red fish. Even a baby red fights pretty good. But had a good day. It's been a beautiful day. I feel fulfilled and uh, 
feel accomplished because that's all I wanted to do was just catch a fish today. So, mission complete. I know that sounds silly to some of you, but uh, I'm really just learning to do this out of a kayak. If I was in my boat and I could jump from spot to spot fast, it's different. I mean, I could cover a lot of ground in a boat that I can't cover in a kayak. I'm trying to make a video here. Anyway, nobody, no respect, no respect. But uh, yeah, I could cover a lot of ground in my boat. But in the kayak, you gotta be very picky. I mean, you gotta pick your spot, go to it, you try it. You're limited to how far you can go. I, I purposely didn't bring my motor today. It's, the water's super low, and I just don't think I would have been able to use it much. Um, I may try it again when I come back. But that's it for this weekend. That's it for the fishing. Catch you later, guys. Tight line.